What's up, everybody? I'm No Mustard Plox, and welcome to the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 Plasma Torch Challenge. Now, what this challenge is, is, uh, well, basically, I was just trying to think of how I can make this game as difficult as possible, while also doing it in a way that I don't think anybody else has ever done. And I've done some Google searching, but I wasn't able to find anybody else doing this. I wasn't able to find another instance of somebody trying what I'm about to do. And what I'm about to do is play the entire game all the way through using only the Plasma Torch for my damage. So, I mean, that's that's the first rule, actually. The only source of damage is the Plasma Torch. It means no grenades, no mines, no offensive force powers whatsoever, just the Plasma Torch. Um, the next rule is solo play whenever possible. It means no companions whenever you can get rid of them. I mean, there's areas where you're going to have to have your companions, but you're supposed to get, you know, get rid of them when you can. And that's most of the game. You can do most of the game solo. And then the next part is difficult difficulty, because really it wouldn't be a challenge if you didn't play on difficult. I mean, if you played on normal, that's not really a challenge. This was going to be my first scripted video. I had a script written out, I tried it a couple times, and then I found out very quickly that I suck at reading scripts. So this is completely freeform. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you want to see the rest of the series. Let's let me know what you think. If you, uh, if you think that I'm doing anything wrong, make sure to leave a comment down below. Any tips will be very helpful, because this is extremely difficult as I've found out so far. With that out of the way, let's introduce our victim. I mean Jedi. I totally said Jedi. I meant Jedi. Um, I chose to go with a Jedi Sentinel, and that may have been the biggest mistake I've ever made, because, I mean, Guardian would be the obvious choice, because the Guardian could get a lot tankier and gets a lot more feats than the Sentinel does. But I really wanted to have the skills that the Sentinel brings, because you're not going to have a teammate to use specifically for skills. And there's a lot of sections of this game that are made easier, or there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of really good items that you get if you have high skills. And so I really wanted to have those skills, and I, I would have to bring them myself. So I chose Sentinel, but Guardian would be the obvious choice here. That may have been a mistake. Don't follow in my footsteps on this one unless I end up being right. You'll have to, you'll have to subscribe and see the whole rest of the series to see if I was right. For attributes, I just went uh, I just went 14 down the line. I left Wisdom an 8 because you're by the time that you get facing Dark Jedi, you're not really going to have to worry so much about them because you're going to have some defensive items. You're going to have ways to block that, that force power without having a high wisdom. So it's not that big a deal. And since you're not using offensive force powers, you don't need to have, you know, be able to use your wisdom on somebody else. So I just left wisdom at eight. That also might be a mistake, but I don't think so this time. So as you can probably guess by the title on this video, this whole video is dedicated to Paragus, the opening area of the game, and it's it's built around low level characters. So it wasn't actually very difficult at this time. And uh, the sections where you have companions, you're not allowed to send them away. So a lot of the section you have at, you know three members with you, or at least you know an extra member. So it wasn't really that bad at first. I mean, it wasn't. It got a little difficult. There were some parts, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, there was one interesting interaction that's apparently been a problem with the game since launch, where in the section where you're controlling T3, there's an area where you have to blow open a door with a mine, and the only mines you get are the deadly sonic mines. But in on difficult difficulty, you can't get a skill high enough to place those mines, because putting on difficult means that you have to have five extra skill points to lay those mines, and it's impossible to get that that early on. But it was a simple fix, you just turn it back down to normal, lay the mine, then turn it back up to difficult, no problems with there. So I mean, nothing else was really that bad, I mean it was a fairly standard run honestly. Um, the freeze cannons were a little bit difficult, the HK fight was a little bit difficult, but other than that, fairly standard so far. Um, I don't expect that to be the case. In the future, I expect this to be extremely, extremely hard, especially when you get to areas where you have a lot of big groups that are balanced around three high level characters and you've got one, um, especially against a lot of ranged people. That's going to be, I think, the biggest problem is ranged people that have those uh, grenades that like make you stick to the ground because you don't have any way to get to them. You can't use grenades. You don't have any offensive force powers. You you have to run up to them and hit them with the plasma torch. So I think it might eventually become difficult, but so far, not that bad. So if you want to see the rest of the series, make sure you subscribe Subscribe below. Subscribe. Just don't do whatever the thing I said the first time was. Hit the like button and leave some feedback below if you think I made a big mistake anywhere. I probably did. Let's be real here. I probably did. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Peace.